shit about the other girl being sluts and she doesn't look at herself. Whatever. Hey guys, I'm back, bitches. And you know, you guys wanted to see me read from my journal again because y'all are some nosy bitches. No. <laughs> Just kidding. But yeah, you know, I think it's funny to go and reflect on my life, you know, reflect on all the fucking stupid things I would cry about. I, it's embarrassing, honestly, to look back at this journal and then see some of the shit I wrote. I'm gonna read y'all. Should I just make it random? Just go through it and see who I pick or what? <laughs> who I pick? <laughs> I think that tells you a whole lot about me and my mind back then. <laughs> Ooh, this one's juicy. We're going to read this. Of course I'm going to change names because I'm not that petty. <laughs> okay, so this was Monday, August 4th, 2008. <sighs> Let's see. And I, it's titled Yesterday. You know what? Let me just see if y'all can see this just the word yesterday <laughs> dot 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 so yesterday was pretty fun I had a lot of crazy stuff happen lol one thing was Tim from San Juan <laughs> talk to me lol yeah I haven't talked to him since like December but yeah he's still like the same guy lol then I spent the whole night with Tim, my Tim. LOL, yeah, he was there with me at Ryan's. <laughs> but he left like at 420, so yeah, LOL. Yeah, Stephanie, on the other hand, was cheating on Grape again with the same damn guy gross dude she take she talks shit about the other girl being sluts and she doesn't look at herself whatever <laughs> wow t <tea> right now <laughs> so anyways i called ruby private last night and well his phone was on again but he had it off so i sent him a text telling him i missed him and that i still loved him Bitch, from the reading this shit, I don't think you was in love. You was crazy. That's what I think. <laughs> but if he calls, he calls. That's his thing. But what? But loving him doesn't mean I'm still in love or whatever. So from now on, I'm just going to stay alone and just fuck around like the cookie jar song says. <laughs> what? Who am I? <laughs> I'm not going to be that faithful anymore. Sorry, I'm not going to be in love anytime soon either. Fuck being in love all together. LOL. Who is this bitch? Because this ain't me. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh. I don't have an explanation for who she is or why she says these things, but she's a bad bitch, apparently. <laughs> Ow. Here I go again, quoting another song. Who the fuck am I? If I were a boy, I would listen to her because I know how it hurts. Quotation marks. <laughs> Beyonce knows Queen B herself. Hey, Queen B, you've been telling me shit since I was how old? Since I was about 18, this was 10.30.08, okay? 08, before I even graduated. <laughs> uh, just a boy. Well, Simon couldn't listen to anything I had to say last night. He just left me and told me so much bullshit. Well, it's done between both of us. I'm done. He really hurt me a lot. And I wish that he could have understood all I ever wanted was for him to be happy. Oh, I guess he's the happiest without me. Oh my God, I'm so sad at myself. <laughs> I guess that's just how things are now. 
It was everything I always wanted since the end of me. And whoa, I have a <laughs> this person's name a long motherfucking time. <laughs> oh shit. I wanted since the end of me and know that this dude was in my journal. Since the end of me and uh, Ryan. He was the next best thing in my life. My heart is done giving it up and not trying anymore. Me and whoever I said before are done. I hate you. I love you. I hate you. I love you. Somebody come get this crazy bitch because she needs a mental asylum. Jesus. Help is in 2008. Your girl was such a little hoe, but you know, I wasn't really like a hoe, like fucking because I didn't lose my virginity till I was 18. Thank you very much. And it is around close to this time, I guess December 21st, 2008. It was close to that time. I'm not gonna explain the exact date it was because that's in the past, and nobody wants to remember that. <laughs> But anyways, let's just go on with the stories, huh? One more and that's it. Like, this is the end because I can't no more. I can't deal with it no more. It's just too much for me. It's too much tea for me and it's coming for me. So yesterday was the best. I spent the whole night with Tanya and, of course, peanut butter. Wow, I never realized he makes me so happy. I like him so much, and surprising enough, he doesn't just want to use me. Foreshadowing to about the next month. <laughs> okay, he never said it, but his reactions were enough. He only held my hand, and we talked and slept a little bit, but that was it. I want to go back in time to that time 10 years ago and tell stupid me that was a fucking mistake. Get down, bitch. I just wish my parents could understand I really like him and I just need to take this chance and see what happens. I'm tired of having everyone else telling me what to do. See, now that's your problem, bitch. You don't like nobody telling you what to do. And, and that's the issue here. That's the problem. I just hope everything goes good. And he doesn't just let go. Because I have a very big connection with him. And I know I can trust him because he trusts me. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? Guys, if y'all knew who I was talking about in this journal entry you would slap your bitch because bitch was crazy like no this was a bad person and I just convinced myself that no we're so in love and no 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 just like I've done with all my other relationships but who knows all I do know is that he's perfect for me and I just hope he feels the same last night was the cutest night I've ever I've never felt so comfortable with anyone like that. I felt like he was the little angel. No, the little boy. And I was the older one. LOL. All I know is that he has to feel the same way for me like I do for him. Bitch. I'm done with me. Well, that was a roller coaster ride. Oh, that was a roller coaster ride, wasn't it? I don't know, man. I just. That was just too much for me to go back and relive. And it's so embarrassing because all these guys that I was talking about in these oh, journal entries were not even good guys. They were not good guys. I don't know where in the hell I thought we were in love. I seriously don't know why the freak I thought. Oh, you know, he talks to me and he's nice to me, so we're in love. No, bitch, you're crazy. You don't know love. You gave up the snacks at 18 to this loser, and what happened? 
Well, if y'all want to know what happened, you know, just leave it in the comments down below and I'll tell you the motherfucking tea, the story, the first time I lost my virginity. It's fucked up. <laughs> well, anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed my journal entries part two. And, um, I promise I'm going to start trying to make more videos. I really am. I'm, I'm, I got this fire under my ass and I just feel like I need to, but yeah. I want to see y'all and I love y'all and thank you. Thank you for real, all of you. Thank you so much for even taking time to listen to my dumb stories or to even listen to me talk, period. Like, I, y'all don't understand how much I appreciate it. Like, I love the feeling of knowing that I can make people laugh and make them feel happy. And, you know, y'all make me feel happy in return and, you know, I just... I, um, I really appreciate it, for real. From the bottom of my heart, I appreciate every one of y'all's comments, all of y'all's likes, all of y'all's views, and, you know, it's just, it's crazy to me that I even am doing this, trying to do this, and I just hope that y'all can see where I'm coming from and what I'm trying to do with this YouTube channel, and, um, I promise... I'm going to keep trying to make more videos, but, um, yeah, I guess that's all I got to say for now, and I'll talk to y'all later. Bye!